Okay, well, it's is fantastic that we're all still alive, that we can actually even, that we lived long enough to actually be able to do yet another Vajrasattva purification meditation. So you can rejoice for that to start with. So let's just, uh, for those of you who are sitting on chairs, let's just check our meditation position. If your feet are down, make sure there's perhaps a little cushion under them. If we're sitting on a couch or a cushion on the floor, a desk, an office chair, maybe have a little cushion under your coccyx. Imagine your um, pelvis has some liquid in it, fluid in it that you don't want to spill, like a bowl. So just keep it upright as much as you can. Shoulders over the hips, excuse me, the, and the ears over the shoulders. Just remembering how heavy our head is and it throws everything out if it's poking too far forward and out of alignment. Hands in the meditation mudra and let's just imagine our spine is a string of pearls made of light stretching up through our body, out through the crown of the head and uh, lengthening. If someone imagine someone's behind you just lengthening your spine. Head is slightly tipped forward. And the eyes are down, looking along the length of the nose. If they were open, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw. Let's just go to the crown of the head and relax the scalp, the forehead, and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks. And as you relax each part of the face, just feel what's happening to the rest of your face. Relax your mouth and then go to the back of the scalp. Relax the back of the head there. And the ears, the temples. And you'll notice your jaw is relaxing again. Relax the back of the neck and the shoulders back. And just remember, if you are kind of healthy and well, try to use your own strengths to sit up rather than leaning in against the couch or chair or what, what, what or wall even, whatever you're um, leaning up against. But if you do have a back injury or some tightness or something and it's difficult, then by all means, support yourself however you need to. And let's just very gently bring the mind to the breath. Notice the sensation of the cool air as you're breathing in and slightly warmer air as you're breathing out. And we just think of our motivation for this evening. Well, we did a little bit of rejoicing. We're still alive. We get to purify. And just think we're going to do this meditation this evening. For all the people in our life. The ones we love, the ones we don't love, the strangers, for all sentient beings. And for our own future enlightenment. So we can be of benefit to others. So just again a reminder that there is no negativity that cannot be purified. So this is a psychological process we're going through here. We're trying to transform our mind, the way we think. So the first of the four opponent powers is the power of regret. So we just sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you've done to any living being on this day, in this life, any past lives. So you can think of something maybe with that you have some harm you might have done with your body, your speech. Regret is not uh, guilt. Regret is a more of a sense of taking responsibility. 
And the reason we regret is, again, based on this logic of karma. We experience everything to, due to our past actions. So having harmed others, we are going to necessarily experience suffering in the future. And given that we are experiencing suffering on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe some people don't suffer every day, it is kind of always unpleasant when it happens. So perhaps we don't want any more. So the logic is therefore to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen into suffering. So just think, I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. And we also have a sense of regret for all the anger, the delusions, the attachment, which is the source of why we harm others, the cause. So we think, what can I do about it? Who can I turn to? And here we come to the power of reliance. It's in two little sections. The first of these is refuge. So we rely upon the Buddha. We turn to the Buddha, the doctor who has the methods that we can use to purify. So we're not asking Guru Vajrasap to forgive us. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods. So he's here in this form for our benefit. You can imagine this is the mind of your Lama, your teacher, your trusted mentor, your Guru, whoever, however you label the person they is guiding you. This is the mind of that person in this form, this particular form. So visualize Vajrasattva above the crown of your head and he um, is made of this radiant, blissful white light sitting in a cross-legged on a lotus. There's this beautiful, radiant, youthful face and lotus-like eyes where these eyes are peaceful and full of love and compassion for us. His mouth is very sweet, red. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. Their being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So the next little section here is compassion. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So in this case, we're relying upon the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us. So think particularly of someone may, you may have harmed recently, a person, maybe a sentient being, uh, an animal or an insect. And then perhaps think of people who have harmed you. And this is a little bit more difficult to develop compassion for these people because they've harmed you, they are going to necessarily experience suffering in the future. So you, we can develop compassion towards them because of that. So we think I must purify for their sake. So the next is the power of the remedy. And this is the actual medicine is doing of the practice of purification. So the first is the purification of the body. So Guru Vajrasattva very compassionately just imagine sending powerful white nectar quite strongly from his heart it arcs around it enters your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you and it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid it pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita 
Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sitame, Sitam Shriam Guru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe. Om Bhadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutame Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Bhadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me, Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe. Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe. Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supakaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sitta Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita. Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa. Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me. Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan. Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe. Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think that there's no way you could do anything but be of benefit to others with your body. So just imagine anyone that sees you walking down the street, coming into the, their home, ex experiences benefit just by seeing you. How amazing. So next is purification of the speech. Guru Vajrasapha very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. And it arcs around and quite strongly enters your crown, filling your entire body. This time forcing up to the top of the body all the negativities of your speech. And it just overflows and disappears into space, these negativities, not one atom left. So imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and the lying, talking about badly about others behind their back, getting other people to agree with you. All this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasini Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah 
Humpe, on Vajrasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supakaya Mebawa, Anaracta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sava Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Sattva A, Humpe, Vajrasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supakaya Mebawa, Anaracta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Humpe Vajra Zapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Zapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Humpe Vajra Zapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Zapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzha Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Humpe So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine that it's not possible to do anything other than be a benefit to others with your speech. The next is the purification of the mind. Guru Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and these arc around and into your crown chakra and fill your entire being. And just as Lama Yeshi says, when you turn on the light in a room, the darkness in that room is instantly dispelled. So just imagine as the light hits your heart chakra, the darkness of the negativity of your mind, all the delusions, all the attachment and neediness and anger and violence and depression, bitterness, wishing to harm, resentment, jealousy, all instantly dispelled as you recite the mantra and not one atom left. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzha Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzha Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzha Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe 
So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of our own suffering, the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are completely purified, totally gone. And think that there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So the next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of body, speech and mind. So this time imagine that Guru Vajrasattva sends light again. You can also imagine nectar or perhaps if you wish the previous three visualizations. And just imagine anyway, this light and this nectar fill you completely and eradicate even the subtlest imprint of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mebi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriyam guru hum ha ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajramame musa vajrabawa mahasamaya sattva a hum te om vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mebi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriyam guru hum ha ha ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajramame musa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe om vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mebi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriyam guru hum ha ha ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajramame musa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum Pay. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mipi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Musa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Zatva A Hum Pei Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajramame musa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe am vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supakaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajramame musa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. And the fourth step is the power of resolve. So it's a really crucial step, this determination to not harm with our body and speech and mind again. And so without this determination, without making this decision, we're going to keep kind of just keep repeating the same old habits. So this determination, this aspiration to not harm again, it's like a beacon that guides our body and our speech and our mind in more positive directions. So if there's something that you think you would like to work on, maybe something to do with your speech, maybe it's some self-talk, Maybe you have a habit to be a little bit sarcastic. Perhaps you think it's funny. Maybe other people don't. Whatever it is that you, we all know what it is we're doing. So just choose something that you can think about refraining from for maybe 30 seconds, five seconds or a minute or an hour or overnight while you're sleeping. So just make a promise to ourselves that's doable. And this determination to change is 
kind of gives us some strength, some courage. So next, uh, Guru Vajra Sattva is delighted with us. So wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown. So think my Guru's body, speech and mind, Vajra Sattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. Lama Yeshi used to call this union oneness. So next, Rinpoche advises to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level we understand emptiness, just let's just place our mind there for a moment. So perhaps we can think of all phenomena as being empty, not existing from their own side. Maybe things are, you can think of things as being dependent arisings. So nothing's fixed. Nothing kind of exists just because it's there, kind of self-existing. We can think also too, perhaps things don't exist the way we think they do based on the way we are made, when the way our body is, the way our eyes are, the way our height is, the way our education gave us a certain worldview. All these things impact the way we perceive the world. So perhaps the world isn't exactly the way we perceive it. It's this way we're putting a little bit of a dent in our fixed view things okay so let's just dedicate finally dedicate all the merit we've created a huge amount of positive energy in a sh very short space of time this evening so really rejoice so easy so dedicate to all living beings all the people in your life and think may all the virtuous karma i've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible and for his, let's do the long life prayer for his holiness of Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Alamas of Rinpoche, you who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels. Savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. And for Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. Geshe Sherab, beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Well, thank you so very much. There's not very many of us here tonight, but thank you very, very much for those of you who came. So I love doing this practice with you all. So I'm, I make sure I do it properly when I'm doing it with you. When I'm doing it with myself, I tend to cut corners when I'm doing it on my own. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so very much for helping me do my prayers properly. Okay, lots of love, everyone. Good night, Mark. Appreciate it.